Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Uh, I haven't posted anything in over a month now on my YouTube channel and that's because I took a little bit of a mental health break uh, just in general from a lot of things that I normally do uh, just because I was burned out from work and I needed to focus on one thing at a time and I did not focus on editing vlogs and posting them and also I didn't really have that much content to go on with because I wasn't reading or I wasn't writing enough. So yeah, I took a general break. But what better way to come back than to vlog about the Worldwide Write-a-thon? Uh, this is this weekend, uh, today is Saturday the 19th of March, so this Write-a-thon goes from today until tomorrow. I'm not even sure what time exactly for me because I'm based in the UK, so I'm on GMT time and the schedule is an EST time. But basically you have continuous streaming going on on two separate tracks. So you have one that is more social and you have more people doing chatty streams. And I think there's maybe a little bit of uh, sprinting time during the streams, but it, it's mainly about uh, the social aspect of it. And then on the other track, you have productivity streams. And these are gonna be more about writing sprints. It's a little bit less chatty and a little bit more about the sprints. So right now it is 10 a.m. for UK time. We have the first opening ceremony stream that starts at 10.30 uh, and it is currently 10.05. And I love that my calendar reminder on this is literally just the write-a-thon reminder. I've just had my YouTube notification for the first stream, the opening ceremony, which I was just talking about, uh, which literally starts in 30 minutes. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, my only problem is that I've not really had any time to prepare because I've had a busy week with work and then yesterday I went out with a friend uh, and so now I'm finding myself being like what am I going to write about because I have a few projects going on at the same time. So I have my trusty little notebook uh, and I think I'm just going to have a little think about which project I should focus on because a few of my projects are in completely different stages. One of them, for instance, The Art of Summoning Demons, which is the one that I've completed. I'm currently doing some line edits for uh, the first few chapters so that I can send it to one of my beta readers. And that's a very different stage from, say, the Life and Death project. I don't think I've even talked about this one, uh, but that's kind of what I'm calling it, which is currently just in outlining mode, like that's all I'm doing, I haven't even really written anything for it, uh, so I'm trying to do this one by doing a bit of an outline based on Save the Cat first, and that's because this one has a little bit more of an actual thriller type of mystery. I feel like those types of stories need a lot more prep work before you start writing it. Then we have the Night Shifter series, which is this kind of like supernatural urban fantasy with romance in it. I kind of just started writing that one immediately. I didn't really do any outline. And then as I went, I would go back and forth between kind of half outlining the next few chapters that I wanted to write, uh, basing myself a little bit more on The Anatomy of a Story by John Truby and then I would go back to writing a bit more and then outlining a bit more and then writing a bit more but it's not very far and I can already see some issues so I think that's why I've stopped is because uh, there's a big part where I'm just I just decided to write this huge flashback scene type of thing where my character goes back to you know her background story and her past and how she became who she is right now and I'm like this should not be in writing at the beginning of the book and I'm doing so much more exposition than is necessary. Like the point of a backstory is that you drop hints of it throughout and you only discover kind of like a big secret later on. So because I know that now and when I started writing it, I think it just blocked me and so I stopped writing it. But in reality, it's probably better for me to just go on, continue and kind of do what I did for The Art of Summoning Demons, which was just continue writing whatever happens and then you can go back and fix these things and you can even make notes of the things you know you want to fix and if you ha already have ideas about how to fix them you can already note that down as well so maybe I'm gonna do that and that one in a way is in a stage of I can just write through some of the scenes um, which means that that might be more exciting for me right now because I feel like I need a little bit of actual writing and not revising and not outlining so maybe that's the one I'm gonna focus on but then I also have the Rose Project, 
<laughs> and I also have the Ghost Project, both different ones. The Ghost Project is the one that I started working on by using Story Genius. So that's also one that I don't think I'm going to work on because uh, I want to actually see this through and see whether this kind of method works for me. So I'm also kind of outlining it more uh, at the moment. Then we have the Rose Project. One that I worked on a long time ago. It was an idea I had a very, very long time ago. And it's kind of more inspired by Angel than Buffy. Like a lot of my stories could be set in the Buffy universe or have very similar vibes to Buffy, I would say. This one has more similar vibes to Angel, especially the last few seasons where they uh, take over Wolfram and Hart, which is this lawyer's firm that actually caters to supernatural beings and monsters and stuff. Recently, when I was working on one of my little flash fictions, I tried to do a, a few little flash fictions uh, in February and March. And one of those little flash fiction pieces that I worked on, I used the main character, Rose, uh, to work on that piece and use her as like the catalyst for it. And then I realized, oh, I really want to write from her point of view again. And I really want to write her story now that I have more of this. Um, and it almost felt like a great first scene for a first draft or a zero draft. So I might actually use that and just go on and continue writing from that because this sparked more ideas and I got excited by this project. So I think my two contenders are basically Night Shifter series and The Rose Project. Also, it is now 10.13. I really need to make myself some coffee before I actually uh, watch the opening ceremony. And then I have a family call at 11. So I'll be a little bit late joining the Marta stream because that's the one I want to go to next. And I think that's a productivity stream. So my plan for the day is basically make myself coffee, decide between these two, probably in the middle of the opening ceremony, I'll make my decision. I, I'm going to use this to brainstorm a little bit and give myself a better idea of what I want to do then have my family call at 11 uh, and then join Marta's stream a little bit late and start working. Um, and then finally, I think I'm going to take a break around lunchtime because I've prepared on my little Google Calendar all the streams I want to, I really want to attend and where I should have breaks. And I think I'm going to have quite a chill weekend. Like I'm not going to overwhelm myself with too many streams. This is kind of my schedule. Tomorrow I have one, two, three, four streams that I'm for sure going to attend with, again, a small break around lunchtime, a bigger break around dinner, and I might attend more streams depending on how I feel. And I think that's it for this introduction. It's already quite long. It's already like 13 minutes long. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to charge the batteries for, the, for this camera while I make my coffee, attend the opening ceremony and have my family call. And then I can vlog later again when I attend Marta's stream. <laughs> It is 1 p.m. right now and I'm taking a little break so I think the next stream I'm gonna watch slash participate in is at 2 p.m. for me so I have an hour long break and I made some progress so basically I ended up deciding uh, that I'm gonna be working on Project Rose so it's the one where I have a kind of a 
supernatural firm, supernatural office environment thing going on. Uh, and my main character comes from the normal human world, originally doesn't actually know uh, that she may have some hidden powers. I love these kind of stories, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a sucker for superhero origin stories and it's not exactly the case here but you know what I mean like those stories where a character doesn't know yet that they do belong in fact to this other world. I tend to write these types of stories just because I gravitated more towards the alienating thing and then finding found families and finding yourself somewhere where people truly accept you for who you are or you get to choose who you are. And I tend to do that with supernatural elements because I love magic and things like that. So yeah, I decided to go ahead with the Rose Project and I think I've set up some goals for it as well. So I kind of did like a little list uh, where I have the Project Rose versus Night Shifters one. I then listed some elements for each, things that could be good reasons to work on that project like for instance project rose i just got reinvested in that idea so it's fresh in my mind and i really want to work on it night shifters i had already started writing it so i i'm in the momentum i don't need to try and make myself get there and then i wrote for each reasons why maybe i shouldn't pick that one so project rose uh the fact that it's the very beginning of this one and i don't have even an outline for it and I don't feel entirely comfortable starting to write without a, at least a vague idea of where I'm going with it. For the Night Shifter series um, I was kind of blocked and at an outlining issue and I would need to go back and I'm not entirely sure how to solve it yet so I would probably waste some time of the weekend trying to solve that first. So these were the pros and cons for each and then I ended up being like for Project Rose I think that's the one that I don't mind the con that much. I then set up some goals from it. My first goal is to set up a basic one-pager outline uh, using the the plot embryo because I was watching videos about the plot embryo recently so I was like maybe this is the way that I'm gonna work on this as fast as I can just so I have my vague idea of where I'm going with it and I can actually start doing some actual writing um, and then write potentially 10k I don't know whether I'm gonna achieve that goal but also within the basic outline slash plot embryo I had two sub goals which is figure out Rose's backstory and figure out my villain who they are what their backstory is as well uh, so these are kind of my four goals they're kind of very vague uh, but you can see them here uh, during Marta's stream I started uh, working on the outline and I wrote about 500 words so far of my vague ideas and just like kind of you know putting them on a page putting them in Scrivener I set up my Scrivener and I started writing a little bit about uh, what I want to do for the heroic journey uh, so kind of following the plot embryo this is my very badly done drawing and basically I figured out what Rose was ignorant about and what she's going to become enlightened about and I think next I'm going to work on the tragic story uh, plot embryo so which looks like this again terrible drawing but you get the idea um, so I'm going to work a little bit on the fatal flow of my villain and their insufficient realization so from A to B and then maybe afterwards I'll be ready to do point one two eight in terms of the heroic journey uh, so I think that's what I'm going to be working on during the next stream which is at two o'clock for me um, and try and figure that out before I can actually start doing some writing however I also did have a vague idea of some plot points in my head uh, obviously like it didn't come from absolutely nowhere one of which is that my character is gonna die at some point in the book and then she's gonna come back to life but you know there's some reason behind it she's not god <laughs> she just has some reason why this is happening um, and I wanted to start strong with my first line as well I don't know whether I'm gonna keep it obviously because I haven't really written anything except during my flash fiction thing so my first line that I wrote was basically it's not every day that you get to solve your own murder it might not remain like this it might completely change in the end but I liked having that first line to start uh, to kind of spark a little bit more for when I'm actually going to start really writing so yeah that's where I'm at uh, it is now 1 12 so I don't have much time and I did want to go for a little walk because it's really nice outside right now grab some lunch food and stuff like that and snacks for the afternoon uh, and that'll make myself have a little walk as well so that's what I'm gonna do and then I'll continue working at 2 p.m.
here's my spoils of war. So uh, I did stop by MAC because I really wanted a new mascara, so I just got myself one. <laughs> that was my first stop. And it is like this. There we go. And basically I really wanted one that has brush strokes or whatever they're called. They're a little bit thicker. I tend to buy mascaras that can grab my eyelashes better. And I've run out of a good mascara, so yeah. Not interesting, but basically, Went to Waitrose, I grabbed a snack, I love sweet and salty popcorn, so that's going to be my afternoon snack. I grabbed some pasta, no one cares. Grabbed a lasagna, which might end up being uh, my dinner for tonight. Uh, I grabbed some pumpkin and pine nuts Fiorelli, which is like my favourite lunch, and so I'm going to have that for lunch. And I also grabbed some oranges because I want to do some orange juice at some point as a snack as well just to get my vitamins in uh, so yes that's everything and now it is 56 so I'm gonna stop I'm gonna uh, boil some water so I can have my pumpkin Fiorellis and then start the next stream Okay, so it's now 3.15 in the afternoon for me. I have 10 minutes before the next stream that I'm gonna attend, which is the one that Katie Ann is hosting, and that's a social sprint, so it's gonna be a lot more chatting and a little bit less working and productivity. But the other sprint that I'm currently still on in the other room uh, is Pens and Pages stream, and it's a productivity one, and they're doing long sprints. So I'm still on that one, but I'm gonna use that time to basically make myself another coffee because I need an afternoon coffee after the two coffees I've had this morning. Uh, I had a little orange juice as well and basically I've been pretty productive in terms of what I want to achieve because I've ticked off two of my goals which is to figure out my main character's backstory and my villain's backstory and also character arc basically and how you know they're they're becoming a villain. So I actually did the plot embryo a method for the villain without even noticing. I was just trying to figure out how they go from A to B, how they go from their fatal flow to how they go uh, to not enough change, basically, uh, too little realization, too little, too late. And when I was trying to figure out this change, this transformation, I figured out a lot of the in-between of the story and most of the steps that they're going to take in order to go from A to B, which is kind of the whole tragic plot embryo method, um, as opposed to the heroic journey. Since I figured a lot of that, it was so much easier to then go back to my main character story arc and figure out their heroic journey using the plot embryo method. I have a few steps that I still need to do, and I think a lot of um, steps that need to be more developed in terms of knowing what kind of scenes I'm gonna write there because sometimes it's a little bit more vague like oh they need to figure this out but how are they gonna figure this out I need a scene where they do this where they do that etc so I'm still in the middle of doing that but Technically, I've written a lot. My first outline that I did for my main character, going from A to B, going from their status quo and the kind of familiar world that they're in, etc., to the unfamiliar world and to becoming a new person and changing their belief to understanding the truth. So I wrote down kind of the general idea for that and that was 500 words-ish. And then I did the same for my villain, that was also 500 words-ish. Uh, then I wrote some lore because I needed to figure out a little bit of the supernatural creatures that I'm gonna have in there and I also wrote a bit about my true villain because I have kind of like a main villain for my book but also 
they're working for someone else who's going to become like an overarching villain who's kind of more truly evil so they're not as interesting to write about and I don't want to focus too much on them but they are kind of like directing the flow of the villain arc if that makes sense um so I wrote a little bit of lore as well and then uh did a little bit more in terms of the steps that my main character is taking to go from A to B I haven't finished that but I think that took me all of these steps while I was doing the last sprint that was like about a thousand words so I think I've written two thousand words so far it's just not within the actual story, script, whatever. And I feel like I have a way better idea of where I'm going with this story and who my characters are and all that. I'm really happy with my villain's arc. Like it's just the way that I figured it out. I was like, yes, this is the exact fun house mirror version of my main character and I didn't even notice I was doing it and it just happened naturally. Um, so that made me really, really excited to write more. So I'm hoping that I could start tonight rather than have to, de to do a 10K day tomorrow. Uh, but if I don't, I st I'm still gonna try and manage that. Well, outline, review, I talk about it in depth on my channel and I also talk about the creation and writing and etc. etc. of all my chocolate short stories in depth on my channel. I don't keep secrets from you except the fact that I had an agent for a year and didn't sell you my thought. <laughs> It is now 5.45, so I've basically finished watching uh, the stream that Katie Ann was organizing, which is basically a troublemaker stream because it had all four of the troublemakers. So that was the only actual chatty one that I went to uh, compared to the productivity ones because I've been more on the productivity ones. And I have been productive, so I'm taking a proper break now because I think I need a separation between the moments I'm outlining and when I'm actually gonna start writing, but I'm ready officially to start writing, I think. My overall outline, I think is maybe 1500 words or something like that. So I can't remember, I probably would need to check, but yeah, I feel really organized and productive right now. So because it's close to six o'clock and I have, I guess like a two hour long break if I don't go to any other streams, um, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm definitely gonna have myself a little drink because it's Saturday night, uh, maybe a little aperitif type of thing before dinner. And then maybe read a little bit, do something else, basically. I think I need to do something else than write uh, for the next hour or so, at least, just to have a proper break. So the reason why I'm saying I have a two hour long break is because the stream that I'm invited to co-host on, which is Steak's stream, is starting at eight o'clock my time. So I'm pretty excited for that. I'm also really scared because I've never organized a stream or, you know, been the co-host on a stream ever. And I'm so worried that there's like stuff I need to know about at StreamYard and people keep telling me no no don't worry it's fine you don't have to do anything like you just show up and then it's fine but I'm like well, I've never used StreamYard before like are you sure is there nothing I need to like practice train or whatever for beforehand I don't know I asked some of my favorite people to be here, but they couldn't, so I invited these bitches. Why don't you, why don't you introduce okay. yourself, gal? We, for some reason, said yes. <laughs> yeah. Because we are the bitches. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so I'm vlogging this bit for the second time because I kind of forgot that I literally had just put Spotify on and I'm pretty sure that the music that I listen to is copyrights, uh, not copyrights free, so I gotta be careful. Um, it was pretty low sound, so it should be okay, but just in case. I was just saying that I was terrified of not being uh, muted properly, but I am. And I just wanted to quickly say that we are live right now. I'm really excited. I'm really nervous because it's my first time streaming, but everyone is super adorable and so nice. And I'm just so happy like to meet more people that are writers in real life as well. And just having to, getting to actually talk to them with, you know, being able to see their faces and talk to them directly and not just texting on Discord and stuff like that. So. Uh, it's a really, really nice feeling. And I was also saying that um, I have worked a lot on my outline today, so I'm finally actually writing stuff and I'm trying to get over the blank page syndrome because even though I've got my outline, I was like, where do I start? So I think my plan is to try and treat it like I did my previous novel, The Art of Summoning Demons, because I just went ahead and wrote and then didn't worry too much about where which scene should go, etc. And only worried about that afterwards uh, when I started restructuring and working on draft two. So I think that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to do my best to write a lot and just uh, come back to it when I need to. Maybe while I'm writing, maybe after I'm done writing the first draft, I don't know, but yeah, that's the plan, to just go ahead and write. Let me go backwards in time. <laughs> it's always a little bit of a like gut punch when you take out that big of a chunk, you're like, ah. But at least you wrote new words as well. It wasn't just deleting. Uh-oh. Oh, is he frozen? <laughs> <He's> frozen. <laughs> oh no. Uh-oh, we need to um, rock, paper, scissor for the new host. <laughs> you you can't pick me because this is my first stream ever. <laughs> oh, you're back. Yeah, I, you're back. My, like, every time I... this, is, this is my YouTube comeback, so like like Malin's, not me. Yeah, so Anna, if there needs to be a new co-host that takes over at some point, it's got to be you. Oh, God. Buckle yeah. up. Buckle up. <laughs> Everyone just leaves instead. Yeah, that would uh, be likely. Local bo bog hang, got 326. <laughs> That's the best username. Oh, where's the bingo for like best username? <laughs> Hello, today is Sunday the 20th of March and it is currently 10.17 on my watch uh, in the UK. So I'm currently watching the live stream from Emily Oliveri and she has been going on for um, I think an hour now because I think they started at 9am for my time. But I only woke up at 9.30, 9.40ish, that's when I started watching and just made my coffee. They are still going, no one has done a sprint yet. <laughs> I'm sure they did one before I started watching, but right now they're just chatting and I was like, I need to make my coffee and I need to start vlogging and just start my day and whatever, I'll miss like 10 minutes of chatting time. But yesterday went really well overall, I think, in terms of my overall day of writing. So I ended up with about 3000 words of outlining, researching, lore, writing, all of that kind of stuff. and. 1500 words approximately of actual manuscript writing. Um, most of which, no, not most of them, but I'd say half of them were previously written because they're the ones that I did when I did my little flash fiction moment where I wrote the first chapter of that story because it still matches the ideas that I got when I was writing the the storyline based on the plot embryo method. Um, I just had to change a couple of details here and there. And then what I did in the last stream, because I was pretty tired, it was like past midnight. Um, but what I did do was just set up kind of a very short outline of uh, what I want to do in my chapter two, or at the very least in the next scene. Um, just because I was like, I need to figure out what I'm going to write, otherwise I'm not going to write it, because I'm feeling a little bit of a blank page syndrome on this project overall. like. Whenever I start writing, I'm like, what do I write next? Uh, what does she do next? Like, I know where the story is going, but I don't know the details of it. I'm pretty excited for today's streams. I, again, haven't decided to attend too many. I think uh, I will have a break around lunchtime and a break around dinner time again. Um, but I'm going to try to watch as many as I can in between those breaks, of course. And I'm also hoping that I'm going to write a lot because my last goal for this weekend was to maybe try and get 10k words and now I think I need to write as many words as I can.
I'm in the room that echoes more, so I'm sorry. I think the problem is that I've got posters on some of the walls, but not on the one behind me. So I think that's why it echoes more in here. But anyway, um, right now it is 2.48 uh, for my time in the UK. And I'm currently watching the stream that is hosted by Kate Kavanaugh Wrights and her guest is Rachel Wrights. And I'm a huge fan of both of them and I really like both of their videos when they're both on YouTube. So uh, pretty excited. And we're currently doing a 33 minutes sprint. It's almost at 30 minutes left right now. So just to update you, I am currently at Three thousand three hundred and eighty-six word in total for this project, and one thousand eight hundred and twenty-four words for today. So obviously, yesterday I had about one thousand five hundred words written in the whole manuscript, and I want to hit ten k. So I've set up a goal for today of eight thousand five hundred words, which I'm hoping I'll achieve, but I don't have much faith in myself. <laughs> so that is the plan. Uh, so I'm just gonna get writing and hope to be as productive as I can during those 30 minutes. And then I'm probably gonna make myself an afternoon coffee, uh, maybe towards the end of the sprint before they start chatting again, because I like the chat and I like these people, so I don't wanna miss that part either, even though it's the break. Pig snouts. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> this is what happens when a bunch of creative people don't get sleep. Uh, you know, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oh, God. I understood that reference. <laughs> <laughs> It is 5.40 in the afternoon and I've now just hit 5k in total uh, of manuscript writing so I'm halfway through my goal and I don't have much hope left of actually reaching my goal because I just don't see how I could possibly write 5,000 more words before midnight which I don't even know whether I would go to bed at midnight but yeah that's kind of like the overall goal and I just don't think it's gonna be doable however I will definitely try to catch up to that goal over the rest of next week just so that I can actually say that I've written 10k of this new project and I think that's really gonna launch me into it and allow me to yeah plunge myself fully into writing this project um I am however gonna take a shower soon my hair is gross I am gross I need a shower and currently I'm not gonna watch any stream until I can't remember what time the next stream is that I want to catch but right now I'm having a little break and I think what I'm gonna do is take a shower have dinner all that and then I'll be ready for the next sprint I think maybe what I'm gonna try to do is achieve 7.5k so or even just 7k because I technically wrote 3,000 words of research, outline, lore, all of that. So I feel like I could at least say that I've written 10k in total over the weekend if I reach 7k of manuscript. reaching the end of the worldwide write-a-thon vlog. Um, again, I'm in the room that echoes a lot, I'm so sorry, but basically I'm currently watching the last stream before the closing ceremony slash dance party. Um, right now it is 10.41 my time in the UK. I reached my sub goal of 7,000 words over the weekend of manuscript words. And even though it wasn't 10,000 words of actual manuscript word, I'm still happy. I'm still pretty proud and I can definitely reach that goal later in the week. It doesn't have to be this weekend and I don't have to overwhelm myself with this. Um, I'm also quite tired and I just don't think that I would actually be able to write any more 
uh, of my story right now. I still have some ideas, so I feel like I could outline a bit more, but I don't think that I could write right. I'm currently watching the stream on Violet's channel and everyone is just being so sweet and nice and everything. And I feel like this weekend has made me realize that one, it's totally chill to uh, stream and it's not that scary. And whether there's two people or more, they're all very nice. And this is a community where everyone is so supportive and lovely. And I generally feel like this weekend has made me feel even more like I'm part of a community of like-minded people. Like I just feel like this has had such good vibes and a lot of people have seemed so happy with their goals and their results and meeting people and all that. And it's just been a lovely time. Okay, this is officially the last time I am talking to you guys during this vlog. It is a quarter to one, so it's officially not the 20th of March anymore. It's the 21st of March, it's Monday. Um, I'm quite tired, I need to go to bed because I have work tomorrow at nine. Uh, and the closing ceremony is still ongoing, although they did have the closing part done. So now it's just chatty stream and I believe that people are gonna play a game and that's it so I'm gonna head to bed. It's been a freaking blast, I've enjoyed myself so much, I have met so many cool people, followed so many new people on YouTube, um, I've had my first stream as a streamer I mean, uh, as a co-host on Steak stream and that was just so much fun that it made me want to actually do more streams on my own channel at some point or another. Uh, it's also really motivated me to update my channel with more stuff about writing in general and also I gotta say having written the 7k of my story uh, has really launched me into it like I'm now completely into this new story and so ready to write more of it so I'm really really happy that this event did that for me I'm also hoping that I'm gonna not gonna lose this momentum and gonna be able to continue on it during the week and during the month of the rest of the month of March uh, so yeah that's about it. That's everything. So hope you guys had a good uh, worldwide write-a-thon weekend as well. So yeah, that is it. I will leave you guys now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment down below. I always try to respond. Consider subscribing, ring that bell, all that jazz, and we'll see you guys in the next one.